Hey everybody, Allison here with Southland Goldens. I'm here for our week five video of our Lexi and Hank litter. So if you look, this is what I have been promising was going to happen. These videos are going to get fun. These puppies are up, they're into everything. They're running all over the place. Um, trying to untie my shoes. I don't even wear shoes that tie anymore because uh, puppies at this age, they can untie a shoe in half a second. So we are at week five, super, super big week coming up. Week six is when we will start, or when we will go get our first round of shots. We will be microchipped. We will be weaned off mom. We will start crate training. So this is their last week with Lexi. We're working on the um, weaning process. You will see that each puppy has a different color ribbon on. Again, if you're just now tuning into the videos, you will see that they're scratching at these ribbons, and that is because they're not used to these ribbons. These ribbons, we only put them on for the video's sake. Hey, pup, pup. And that's just because their coats are getting thick, and it's hard to see who is who. So right here, we have brown and green. Let's see what we got over here. Come on. Hey, guys. Hey, what you think? Hey, Orange. Hey, Orange. Hey, buddy. This is Orange right here. Hey, guys. Got green. Green, you going to go in the ball pit? This is white. Followed by khaki, black. And just sitting so patiently over here watching is sweet purple. Hey, purple. Yes. Hey, who we got? Yellow, yellow's head's a little wet. Um, she decided to dive right into the water bowl right before we hit play, but that's okay. You're a retriever. You're going to be my water loving pup. Is that what you're going to be? So you'll see we're in our little playroom. For the video's sake, we actually kind of um, put a fence so, so the puppies aren't over, all over the place. But in here they have, hey Brown, in here they have room to go through the ball pit. They have a puppy swing. Um, we also have our crates for crate training. Um, so a lot goes on in here. A happy, playful place, right? Yeah. This is like where we do PE huh? for our schooling. Yeah. Look at Brown. You are so sweet. Um, so we do have some puppies available from this litter. So if you're interested in your on this list, please let me know. I'm happy to answer any questions. The way our picking process works is after next week's video is posted, the week six video, that is when the picking process will begin. Our picking process is based off the order in which we receive your deposit. So, just in case y'all are wondering, this is brown in my lap. Hey, hey big guy. Um, so we will post the week six video. I will contact first pick male. I will contact first pick female. Say, hey, our picking process is live. And I will be happy to answer any questions. Once they pick, I will let everyone on the list know, for example, hey, Mr. Brown was picked first, so that way everybody can know, okay, Mr. Brown is reserved, and we can start looking at the looking options. Hey, if you are on this list to get a puppy, please go ahead and let me know whether you're picking up your puppy or if you're interested in our flight nanny flying with the puppy to you. It is a super easy process. Our puppies travel all across the United States. Um, we do not allow them to fly cargo. We will fly with them in cabin. So uh, typically they can fly in cabin up to 10 weeks. So if your puppy's going home at eight weeks, that is the perfect time for them to fly in cabin. They do really good. They sleep the whole time. Majority of our puppies do travel that way. So our flight nanny is um, very familiar with the whole process. We take care of everything. We send you uh, options for which flight is you know, the cheapest that we can find for a direct flight. So super easy process. If it's something you're interested in, let me know. Of course, you are more than welcome to always come here to pick up your puppy. We, we love to meet our puppy families, just sometimes they're not close enough. So if you're on the list, even if you're picking up your puppy, go ahead and let me know a day and time so we can go ahead and get that on the books. Um, a couple of other things to go over. So your puppy will be microchipped before they mm -hmm. join you. I will go over all that information in our week seven video on how you register the microchip, the vet records, so they'll receive their first round of shots when they are with us mm -hmm. at six weeks old. Their next round of shots are due when they are nine weeks old. So nine weeks, 12 weeks, 
and then their final round is around the 16 week mark. So all that information will be in your puppy packet. I will share it on the blog before they go home. I will let you know how much they're eating, all those fun things. Basically right now, I am just rambling so you guys can see the puppies. So you can see their little temperaments. Who's hiding behind me? There's a puppy back behind you somewhere. Hello, yellow. Look at red. Red's thinking about going to the ball pit. I've had a couple puppies in there. Gray was in there earlier. that are very, very close and very similar as far as size and temperaments. Our largest is Miss Purple at 6.4. Very laid back, easygoing girl. Very calm, likes to sit, likes to be petted. Now, when I say a calm puppy, please understand they're still a puppy. Even though I say laid back, 
they are still a puppy. They still have their playful moments. She's just a very chill girl, um, very thick coat. If you look in the back right here, you can see that you can't even see her collar. And that is because her coat is so thick. So a very pretty girl with a very thick collar, laid back temperament, going to be a very blocky girl, is going to be purple. Next inside, we have, where are you, Gray? Gray, are you hiding over here? What are you guys trying to come? Where are you guys trying to go? Next in size, with a very similar temperament, is going to be Gray. Gray also has a very thick coat. It's a little bit lighter in color than purple, not a huge, huge difference. She is 6.2. She is not as laid back as purple, but definitely more in the middle, leaning towards the laid back temperament. So a very easygoing girl as well. It's going to be Miss Gray, a big blocky girl with a thick coat at 6.2. All right, next we have our adventurous girl. You're a solid girl too. 5.8 is going to be Miss White. She is super outgoing, super adventurous, um, kind of the one to check a lot of things out first. Okay. Yes, I'm not scared of anything. This is Miss White, 5.8, my adventurous girl who is outgoing, playful, your typical golden retriever. The next one that you heard making all the noise is going to be Miss Green. Miss Green is 5.6. Her temperament is right there in the middle. I know you probably heard her. She was trying to get to the camera guy. She is my social girl. Light colored coat. Loves people. 5.6. Social girl is Miss Green. <coughs> Alrighty. Come here, Yellow. Where are you? Yellow. See if I get her. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm talking to you. She said, no, I'm just going to stay over here and play. I got to watch my step with 11 puppies. Yeah. That's a lot of puppies. Okay. Next for our girls is going to be Miss Yellow. Miss Yellow is 5.2. She is outgoing, she is playful, she is the one that was in the water bowl right before we hit record. Yeah, just checking out the water, going for a little swim. We do start to introduce the puppies to water. Um, I get asked that question a lot too, will they be introduced to like a pool? Not at this age, but we do have like a puppy sprinkler. We have a little um, baby pool as well so that they can safely be exposed to water, but they do not swim in a swimming pool at this age. But this is Miss Yellow. I think she's going to be my girl that does like the water. 5.2, outgoing. Wish you could see Miss Purple down here. She has just been sitting, paying close attention. Her little ribbon's itching her now. Uh, it's like she's taking notes in class. <laughs> she's watching me. Every time I pick up a puppy, she just sits and watches. All right, come on, Kaki. So Kaki, if you guys were watching last week, you remember that, oh, there's Greg, she's in the ball pit. Go Greg, go. Oh, there you go. So Kaki is now five pounds. If you remember watching last week, she was my more observant girl, the one that would kind of sit back and watch. Um, she's definitely grown out of that. She is all in. Her little legs, however, won't let her allow to get into the ball pit yet, but give you a couple days and I promise you'll be able to get in there. Yeah. She has a very light colored coat. She is a playful girl. She's not quite as playful as yellow, but still a fun girl with a light colored coat. A very thick coat is going to be Khaki, our smallest girl at five pounds. 
All right, now we have a tie for our two boys in size, but completely different temperaments. Excuse me. Can I borrow you? Can I borrow you? Uh, better borrow. All right, next we have Miss Red. Oh, Miss, excuse me. Mr. Red. <laughs> Mr. Red is 5.8 pounds. He has a very, very light colored coat, um, almost solid white, thick coat. He is my playful boy, my blocky boy, at 5.8 pounds, is going to be Mr. Red. Look at his coat. Okay, 5.8. Also at 5.8, but the complete opposite is going to be Mr. Orange. Mr. Orange is 5.8. Also a very light colored coat, a thick coat, but a very laid back temperament. Okay. Yeah, just tell him I'm laid back. Look at that face. Not a care in the world. Hey. Hey. This is Mr. Orange at 5.8. He's going to be a big boy. You can look at those paws and tell he's going to be a solid boy. So we have a big jump from those two boys to our other three as far as size goes. Where are we, Black? There's Black. Oh, checking out the tires. Yeah, we are definitely in our teething phase. Everything goes in our mouth. So one thing, if you are getting a puppy, Make sure that you puppy proof your house. Get down on your hands and knees. It's like having a toddler again. Anything and everything. Remotes, all the things that a puppy can get a hold of. Um, people don't think of remotes a lot, um, but they are or can be super dangerous just in the fact that they can get a battery out and then that is no good. So you definitely want to have a safe place for your puppy to go once they come home. Just a little tip. All right, next we have Mr. Black. Mr. Black is 4.8. Want to get down and play. I know, I know, I know. His temperament's right there in the middle. He loves everyone. Super social guy. Loves playing with the other puppies for sure. Five or four point eight is going to be Mr. Black. You see them all down there? They're falling asleep. His temperament's right there in the middle with the more uh, leaning more towards the outgoing playful side. All right, Mr. Brown, where are you, big guy? Sound asleep. Okay. All right, next we have, let's see if I can back up. Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown is 4.6. He is a very laid back, very similar to Orange as far as temperament goes, just a little bit smaller. So very easygoing laid back guy is going to be Mr. Brown. And last, but definitely not least, is my little guy. And if you are following any of the other litters, you will see that Blue is the smallest in that litter too. Must be something about the blue collars, yes. So this is Mr. Blue. Mr. Blue is 4.2, a very playful, very outgoing guy. Our little guy at 4.2 is going to be Mr. Blue. You can just tell, um, I'll, I'll hold him up next to uh, Red right here, and you can just tell he is going to be a smaller boy. Let's see. Oh, let me get over here. I've got a couple puppies hiding behind my pillows. So this is our biggest boy, or our smallest boy. So big difference. <laughs> Biggest versus smallest, red and blue. Alrighty, so that is going to wrap up all 11 puppies. Um, again, we're at the age where all we do is eat and sleep. We play a little bit more, but not as much. I figured they would all be out by the time 
we hit end on this video. Um, Lexi is doing really good, as you can probably imagine. She is ready for them to stop nursing. She is the type of mom, however, that does really enjoy being with her puppies. So, um, hey, is anybody else? Come on. Hey, Blue. Hey, Blue. Hey, Orange. Hey, guys. Do make sure that you go ahead and have your puppy food order. The food that we feed can only be found online. So if you go to our website, supply recommendation page, you will see the food, the bed, the toys, all the things that we recommend. Again, if you're interested in getting a puppy from this litter, just let me know. I'm happy to answer any questions. We'll see you guys back here next week for our super important week six video where our picking process will begin. Have a great week.